everyone. So in today's video, I am going to be discussing some tips and tricks of how to maintain and control, you know, your curly hair. So in my Thursday video, I talked about some curly hair horror stories where I discuss the struggles of growing up with crazy, frizzy, unruly hair. So just as a recap, this is pretty much my natural hair. Um, just I put a little bit of product in it, but normally it is very frizzy and dry and coarse and very temperamental. It's taken me years to kind of build a relationship with my hair and I've kind of learned to work with my hair and not against it anymore. Um, needless to say, my hair is the boss of me. <laughs> uh, my life revolves around it and I'm just okay with that. We've accepted it, we're okay, we're working together, it's good. All right, so number one, I don't wash my hair every day. I wash my hair every four to five days and that might seem like a bit long to some people, but I've just noticed that that's how long my hair can last without it starting to look greasy or anything like that. You might find that after two or three days, your hair gets very, very greasy and it needs to be washed and that's fine. You kind of need to learn that about yourself. So my hair, as I said, is more on the dry side. So it, I don't see a lot of buildup of grease ever. So I can last about four to five days without washing. The reason why they always tell you not to wash your hair every day is basically because your scalp develops its own natural oils that your hair needs to, to be healthy. So if you have long hair or if you have curly hair, then it takes a while from those oils to go from the top of your scalp all the way to the bottom to the tips, which is why your tips are always the most dry. And if you have curly hair, not only does it have a long way to travel, but it has some winding turns to get all the way down, which is why it needs that time. So every time you wash your hair, you're actually stripping your scalp of those natural oils and you never have the time to travel down. So that's why if you leave it and wait a day or two, it'll have time and it'll benefit from those natural oils. So day one, I'll usually wash it and then I'll air dry it or towel dry it. So I usually do this at night so that way it has time to dry and I avoid using my hair dryer at all possible because I don't like to use a lot of excess heat on my hair if I don't have to. Once it's dry, I will straighten it and use a heat protectant first. Always protect your hair from heat before going in with any kind of styling tools. So I'll leave it like that for the first day and then the next day that's usually when I will go in and curl it. And I do that because um, your hair holds a curl better after it's been like a day or two since you've washed it. And I'll leave it um, curly for about a day or two after that and then usually by the fourth, fifth day, as I said, depending on what's going on with it, um, that's when I usually start to see it it's about on its last leg and I'm gonna need to wash it. And then I'll either throw it into a high bun or a ponytail and then for that day and then I'll wash it at night and then I'll just begin the cycle again. All right, so now I'll just uh, walk you through the products that I do use starting with shampoo and conditioner. I sometimes switch it up, but what I've been really loving the most lately is everything from the OGX line. So right now I'm using the caffeine one. Um, I'll just show it on the screen here. And they have different types of within their line. You know, they have Moroccan oil, argan oil, coconut oil, like different ones um, within the OGX line. So I do switch it up within that, but I've been really loving them as a brand. So that's kind of what I've been using. Afterwards, I always use a leave-in conditioner and that has also been a life changer. Once I started using that, I have noticed that my hair started to get a lot more moisturized and healthier. I do prefer it in a spray bottle, but this is what I have right now. And I'll have the descriptions and everything on the screen and also in the description below if you wanna check them out. Once again, to reiterate, I always use a heat protect before I go in with any kind of styling or heat to my hair, that is very key and this is what I've been using right now. So once a week I do a deep conditioning where I just give it that extra bit of moisturizer that it needs, especially during the winter time. However, if I do notice that I have a buildup of grease or product in my hair and I, I know when that's happening because I'll see like a little bit of dandruff 
Um, I didn't mention that uh, my dandruff shampoo because I don't have any on hand right now, but I usually keep some, you know, just like head and shoulders or whatever on hand for when that does happen. So if I do notice that, then I will skip using the deep conditioning. And because my hair is more on the drier side, I do also use some kind of oil, um, like a Moroccan oil or what have you. The one that I have right now is just the one that came with my curling iron, so it's been working fine. So after I finish straightening it, I kind of just use it towards the ends, and I don't use it before I use any kind of heat products because I was told by a hairdresser that if you do that, if you put the heat oil on first and then the heat, it'll actually burn into your hair. So I always do it after I finish straightening it on after day one, and then Maybe if I happen to notice it being dry later throughout the week, I'll use a little bit, but again, it's always after I finish uh, whatever styling tool I'm gonna use that day. In between washes, I do obviously use a dry shampoo because as I said, because of all the oil that comes from your scalp needs to travel down, there's an excess on the top as opposed to the bottom. So the bottoms will be dry, the top will be a little bit greasy sometimes, so you use this dry shampoo just in my roots and just to kind of get rid of that so then that way it doesn't start to look greasier earlier in between my shampoos. If I'm leaving my hair naturally curly, I have to be aware that the way that my hair is going to dry is basically how my hair is going to be from until I, I wash it next. So I am very aware of that. Again, I let it air dry. I don't use a hair dryer. I use a towel and then I just kind of scrunch it up to kind of dry it a little bit. Once it's damp, I go in with a curling cream. And again, when I'm putting that in, I just kind of scrunch it up and just kind of leave it alone after that. Don't really touch it and just let it dry naturally. I don't brush it out because if I brush it out, it will go really frizzy really fast and give it a lot of volume that I don't want. You don't want to break your curls. You want to leave them as is. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is the tools that I use for when I am styling my hair. Now, I don't like to advocate going out and spending a whole lot of money on tools and things like that. I do always feel like there is a cheaper and better alternatives. However, I have found in the past that when I do use cheaper or inexpensive or less quality styling products, it hurts your hair more. So I would recommend to make that investment into good styling tools if you can. Like if you have better hair styling products, you don't use them as well because they can hold your style for longer. So in the long run, you are using less heat. Really take the time to, to investigate and not to spend the most money, but however, spend in a good quality hair tools. So my straightener that I have, I got it from my hair salon. It is ceramic. I recommend ceramic for styling your hair. I have used like plastic ones in the past and what happens is that my hair would actually burn onto the iron itself. So now I only buy ceramic hair straighteners. My curling iron that I have, it's by Numi. It has five different curling barrels attachments and it has been life changing. I love this curling iron. I cannot stop praising it enough. It has really made a big difference to my curling hair game. The curls last on me. If I curl my hair one day and I fall asleep on it the next day, it'll still more or less keep intact. I just have to touch it up here and there and that's pretty much it. If you want to see a video or tutorial about how I curl my hair with this curling iron, let me know in the comments below. It's nothing big or special, but if you are curious about what it is that I do, um, just let me know because it does last for me for a few days. And again, I like that because I don't have to go in and recurl all of my hair every day. So I am using less heat in the long run. So my blow dryer is kind of the only thing that I haven't made the investment in yet. It is kind of just a cheap one. I think it's from Shoppers Drug Mart. It's nothing special. But again, I don't blow dry my hair that often if I can help it. The only times I blow dry my hair is if I am in a real rush for me to like get out the door or anything like that. I will blow dry my hair. The key with blow dryers though is the attachments. So. 
The attachments that you need are this one here. It's for straightening your hair. Don't use your blow dryer without an attachment if you have curly hair, um, just to blow dry it because it does get very frizzy, I find. So if you're gonna straighten it, use this attachment and just blow dry it down. If you want your hair to be curly, I would suggest using a diffuser, which I don't have here to show you because I lost it a long time ago. I don't really use it that often, but when I have in the past, use a diffuser to leave my hair naturally curly. It has worked really, really well. And with that, you're just kind of bring it from the bottom and scrunch upwards. Um, like in that motion, like if you can imagine my hand as the diffuser and just going like that until it's uh, pretty much dry. But again, you gotta be careful with that because you are putting heat directly onto the tips of your hair, which as I said, is the where it's the most dry. So again, heat protectant. So brushes. So the brushes that I have to show you is a rounded brush. And that is for, again, when I have to straighten my hair with a blow dryer. I just use that and the straightening attachment and I just kind of curl it and blow dry it downwards. So that's the only thing that I use the round brush for, so I recommend using that as well if that's what you want to do. The other brush that I have is just a regular paddle brush, which I kind of just use um, if I'm in the shower and want to brush my hair, or if I'm just getting out of the shower, I brush my hair afterwards if I know I'm going to straighten it or style it of somehow. If I'm wanting my hair to be curly as it is today, I don't brush it even if it's wet because again, I don't wanna break the curls. So those are all the tips that I have for you that have that I've used for years and have worked for me. If you have any others that you know of that have worked for you for dealing with this crazy, frizzy, untamed, temperamental type of hair, let me know in the comments and I'll try them out. I'm always looking for great hair suggestions. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and I will see you guys next time. Bye.